and welcome to this section of our online videos. So this section is about some of the basic blocks we do as beginners. Uh, we're going to go through three basic blocks, low blocks, middle blocks and high blocks for all the beginners. But then for the intermediate and advanced students, we're going to add an extra move onto it. So we're going to do a kind of combination of them. Beginners, you can join with that part if you wish, or you can practice the low block, the middle block or high blocks again uh, if you want to. So first of all, tense position, toe touching, demonstrate the bow, ready position, hands in front. So I'm going to demonstrate a couple of them first, uh, just so you can see what it is we're doing, and then we'll do it by the count, so we'll do it with you. So the first one we do is the low block. Remember, the low block comes from our shoulder. So as we step forwards, from the shoulder of this arm, we're going to block down. The same arm and leg is forward, so I'm blocking my left arm, which might look like my right on the video, but that's my left arm, and my left leg is forward. You can choose whichever leg you wish and arm you're blocking with. So from that position, it goes to the shoulder, we step forwards, and we block down. Now notice my stance as well. So if you do it from the side, you can see that as I do my stance, my front knee is bent and my back leg is straight. If I can't see my toes, can you see my toes, should I say? Bend your knee. Back again. So same again, we're going to step to up, look, and I'm blocking down. So my back is straight, I'm looking forward, my hand above my knee, and in front stance. Okay, so let's do it together. We'll do it facing forwards. So you can use whichever leg you wish, but whichever leg you step with, try and use that same arm to block. So remember, it comes from the shoulder and down. First one together, ready? One. And return. Two. And return. Three. And return. Four. And return. Last one, we do a big kia. Now don't be afraid if your neighbours hear you shouting. This is all about your practice. So loud shout this one, ready? Ha! And return. I'm going to try the other arm now. It's exactly the same motion. The blocking arm goes to the shoulder, other arm is underneath, and then we step forwards and then block down above the opposite leg now. So, by my count, ready? One. And return. Two. And return. Three. And return. Four. And return. On this last one, remember a big shout, ready? And return. Okay, so for beginners, that is the low block. For advanced students, I'm going to add an extra move to this now. So if you want to carry on beginners, you can. You can demonstrate the low blocks. If you want to add a bit more to it, you can as well. So this time, I'm going to add the punch. So we're going to take a step forward on the left side. Just watch me first. Blocking down. And then we're going to twist and punch on the other arm. So my legs don't move, it's just my arm that changes. And I'm aiming for this part here, so the solar plex, to the middle. So one more time demonstration. So I'm stepping for a low block from the shoulder. And this hand's already chambered. So from this position, I'm going to punch to the middle. And you can do a shout on this one as well. Ready? Ha! And return. So let's do it slowly together now. So first move, low block on its own. Ready? One. Then on the spot, twist your body, but don't move your feet. And punch to the middle with a big shout. Hup! And return. Same again. One. Two. And return. One. Two. And return. Let's do it a bit quicker now. Do it five times fast. Ready? And return. Go! And return. Set! And return. Now! And return. On this one, a big shout on the punch. Ready? That's a lot! And return. So let's try the other side. We'll do it slowly to start with. First move low block, remember from the shoulder. One. And twist the body. Two. Now your back foot, you can put me onto the ball of your foot if you wish. This allows your hip to go forward a bit more. And back again. But if you're starting to learn this, then let's try to get the moves first. So ready, low block. One. And then punch. Two. And return. One more time slowly. One. Two. And return. Five more times. Nice and fast. Ready. One. Two. And back again. 
Two. And return. Three. And return. Four. And return on this one. Big shout. Last one. Now ready? Go. Two. And return. So that's the lower block, and like I say, for an additional move, adding that middle punch on the end. In your own time, if you want to practice that on your own, you can do, just be careful, and make sure you have enough space to do so. So, tension, toe touching, and then bow. Okay, so welcome to this section of our online videos. This is going to be the middle block that we're going to focus on for the beginners. And then for the more kind of senior members, intermediate and advanced, then we're going to add an extra technique to it as well, so we're doing some combinations. So I'll demonstrate a couple of times first, just so you can see what it is we do, uh, and then after that we'll do it together. So first of all, tension, demonstrate the bow. Okay, so from here, we're going to step forward, I'm going to use my left arm for the demonstration, you might well like my right arm, I'm going to use my left. So I'm going to step forward, as I step, my hand comes to my hip, my other arm across my body, so my elbows are meeting. I step forward, block into the middle. Notice how my knuckles are about eyes height, my elbow is bent, and my other arm is chambered. Now let's watch that again. So as I step forward, arms cross over, Blocking arms underneath, not on top, but blocking arm underneath, you're going to step forward, block in the middle. Hand nice and tight, like you would do with a punch. Don't have your hand loose, so no holes in your hands. Okay, back again. Okay, so I look at the side, so again you can see what stance I'm in. So as I step out, I'm going to look, block. Notice how my front knee is bent, my back leg is straight. If you can't, if you can see your toes, bend your knee a little bit more. But one more time, so we're going to step out and block. So let's practice this together. You can use whichever leg you wish, so it's up to you. If you use your right leg or your left leg, the only thing I'll say is that whichever leg you do step with, make sure it's the same side as blocking. Okay, so hands in front, loop five times. On this first one, we're going to do a key up. Now, if you're new and you're not sure what a key up is yet, a key up is a shout, that's a yell. So you can do a loud shout, and all we do is you shout letter A. So we'll do it on the first one. So elbows meet, blocking arm underneath, and then if you step forward, big shout, one, and return. So again, step forward, two, and return, three, and return, four, and return, very good. Last one, big shout for me, ready, go. Perfect, and return. So let's try the other side. Going to use our other arm and leg now. So remember, whichever leg steps, that's the side that blocks. So blocking arm underneath, that's important. Elbows come together. Remember this leg stepping forward now. You ready? Big shout. One. And return. Same again. Two. And return. Three. And return. Four. And return on this one. Big shout again. Ready? Go! And return. Now don't worry if your neighbours hear you shouting. This is your training, so make sure you do your, your best moves as best you can. So when we're back in class, we can see how you've done. Okay, so we're going to add an extra move now for the seniors, for the bit more advanced students. If you as a beginner want to add this on, you can. If not, just continue with the lower blocks, uh, sorry, the middle blocks, when I do them as well. So, hands in front. So I'll demonstrate it first. The first move we're going to do is a middle block, just like we've been practicing. The second move, on the spot, is going to be a reverse movement. You're going to strike, as if you're striking towards the solar plex. So we're doing what's called Kwon Su, which is a spear handle. You're going to make sure the middle finger's drawn back, and your thumb's tucked in. And you're striking into the solar plex area. So watch that again slowly. So I step forward, first move, middle block. One. And then from there, I push forward and then strike. Do from the side, first move block. From here, hand drops there, and I'm going to strike it forward into the middle. Again, middle finger drawn back, thumb tucked in. Now, if anybody knows me, then you'll notice that sometimes my thumb's not always sticking. My thumb sticks out. I would say that's from my instructor. 
All right, so let's have a practice. Again, it's up to you which side you step with. The remember bit, to remember is this bit, which your leg is arm, it forward, your arm is forward as well. So, first move, middle block slowly. One, and then one, two, big shout, two, and return. So do it again slowly. One, two, and return. Now it's going to be a little bit quicker. So two moves really fast. Ready? One, and return. Two, and return. Three, and return. So let's try the other side. So we're going to set forward middle block. First move slowly. One, and then next move, two. This hand just supporting the elbow underneath. Middle finger back, thumb tucked in. One more time slowly. One, knuckles eyes high. Two, striking forward to the middle. And return. Okay, a bit quicker. On the last one this time, I'm going to shout on the last one. So two quick moves. One, and return. Two, and return. On this last one, big shout on the pond two. Ready? Go! And return. So that's the combination we're working on today. That's the middle block, uh, and obviously for advanced students, an extra move, quad suit, aiming for the solar plexus. We're going to finish there for today. So well done. Toes touch in the side. And then bow. Well done. Right, welcome back to our uh, online videos. So this section is all about the high block now. So we're going to go for the high blocks, and then for the beginners, that's what we're going to stick with. And if there are senior members, then you can uh, add the extra move on that we'll do uh, as well. So what we'll do is I'll demonstrate it a couple of times first, just to make sure you can see it from a couple of different angles, uh, and then after that, we will then uh, do it together. So first of all, tension. So touch it, bow. Okay, so from this position, the high block, if you've seen the video of the middle block, um, then obviously this is a kind of a similar starting position. So the elbows cross over, the blocking arm is underneath. I'm going to step forward, as I step forward, I'm going to block above my head. So my elbow comes up first and my wrist finishes above my head. doesn't want to be too far across, because obviously you're not going to touch your head. So about one fist space above. Other hand, chambered at the side. So I'll do it slowly again. So my elbows cross, blocking on underneath. I step forwards, block above the head, and back again. So I'll do it from the side, just so you can see the stance as well. So I'm going to step out from here, elbow connection, block above the head. Now notice my stance, my back leg is straight, my front knee is bent. So you want to be able to not see your toes. You can see them, bend your knee a little bit more. This arm still above the head. Back again. But one more time to the side. Again, just look at the stance as well. So as I step, block. So we'll try it together. I don't mind which leg you use, whether it's your left or your right. The only bit I will say is that whichever leg you step with, that's the side you use to block. So if you step, if I'm, I'm moving to my left, if I step on my left, I use my left arm. If you're using your right, then I'll use your right arm. So, hands in front, we'll do it together. So remember the arms cross over first. So first one, and a big shout on this first go. Ready? Ha! Back again, very good. And again, without the shout this time though. Two, and back again. Good, and again. Three, and return. Four, and return, very good. Now a big shout on this one, now ready? Ha! Back again, brilliant. Let's change arms now, let's try the other side. Exactly the same motion with your arms, the only difference now is that the other arm is underneath, and also you're stepping with a different leg. So from here, underneath, step forward, block, now shout, ha! And return. And again, without the shout. Two, and return. Three, and return. Four, and return. On this one, a loud shout, ready? Ha! And return. So the basic block for beginners, high block, 
making sure so that the hand finishes above the head, one fist face above, bicep next to your ear, and your other hand chambered at the side of your body. Now we're going to add an extra move in for the advanced and intermediates. So the beginners, you can try this if you wish, or you can continue with the count doing the high blocks. It's entirely up to you. So we'll do two moves. The first move is the high block. So I'll do it as a demonstration first. So we're going to step forward doing the high block. And then with this other hand, the most senior members try and use the hip. So the hip comes back slightly, and then you'll bring the hand across the body. So you're striking as if you're striking at the neck. Notice how my palm is facing up. Fingers together, from the top tip. Elbow bent. So watch that again. So first move is high block. One. And this one, reverse knife hand. So it's going round, and you're striking there. Okay, so let's try it together a little bit quicker. So, five to, to together count. First move. One. Big shout on the top. Two. And return. And again, ready? One. Don't shout. Two. And return. So a bit quicker. Both moves on these three a bit faster now. Ready? And return. Two. And return. On this last one, shout on the chop. And return. So let's try the other side. Same move first, high block on its own. Ready? One. Then this hand at the side, hit back slightly, and we'll chop towards the neck with a loud shout. Do. And return. Again. Hana. Do. And return. Both moves, one count. Ready? Ha. And return. Do. And return. On this last one, big shout on the chop. So there are lots of different techniques you can add on the end of the blocks. For this particular video, obviously using this part of the hand, so pseudo knife hand. Um, obviously with the other techniques we've done on the other videos, um, I think you can adapt them as well. So we'll finish there for that section. So well done, you can get some quick drink now before we do the next part, and uh, I shall see you in a second. Attention. Come right.